I, I was in Palm Springs with my family and I was having a great time and then something happened and my cousins thought that I was choking around and then but you know they they all of a sudden they got scared and so um, they called the ambulance and um, that was it that was the that was the end of 11 years Th that was the beginning of 11 years. The duration of disease uh, has a very significant effect on, on folks. If you think of about um, life as going uphill, right, and epilepsy as being a big backpack that you have to carry, then the longer you go carrying the backpack, the farther behind you get in life, right? And in addition to that, the prospects of getting better, uh, you know, may seem impossible, right, when you've had it for so long. For Stella, um, she had been with um, several epilepsy specialists uh, in the past, um, evaluated, um, and there was just no clear understanding of exactly where the seizures were coming from for her. What is wonderful about Stella is that in spite of that, in spite of the fact that she's had epilepsy for many, many years, in spite of the fact that she'd been to multiple specialists that uh, you know, didn't feel like they could offer her anything. She still had a lot of faith in our group and what we were able to offer her. I switched medications, so many different medications. Um, medications didn't uh, comply with my body because I, I had a difficult case. So he said, if you want to change hospitals, that's fine with me. So my decision was to change hospitals so from one hospital I came to USC and so I met Dr. Heck. For Stella it was um, a, a difficult um, evaluation because when she had seizures she tended to go into what we call status epilepticus where she would have continuous seizures for longer than 30 minutes at a time and we often ended up having to intubate her put her on a ventilator, give her lots of drugs to calm down the seizures. And so she ended up in an ICU or intensive care unit setting, um, whereas most patients do not. They usually have limited seizures, limited short seizures, recover, and, um, and are fine. We really had to count on putting the subdural electrodes down to allow us to be confident that the, um, what we were taking out was the exact source of her seizures. And so her operation took, again, the form of two phases where, you know, we, we put electrodes down on both sides of the brain because, um, you know, it, it, her, her scalp EEGs, the phase one studies, weren't even able to lateralize her seizure onset. Um, and we ultimately found it to be coming from the left side and um, you know we took her to surgery and uh, uh, her surgery went uh, very well. I haven't had seizures for six months and I, and I am just blessed. By history if we've done our job and, and, and actually figured out the right place of the brain that where the seizures are coming from and we're able to resect that um, then going forward we would hope that there would be no seizures and um, then we consider that a success. Well Dr. Heck told me a couple months ago at my appointment that I, I'm allowed to get my driver's license and I replied like this like what? And I was shocked. I was just completely shocked. And that was it.